In this video we're going to take a look at what's new in Shoemaker 2015. The next new feature we're going to take a look at allows the user to create tileable materials. Okay, so as you can see I have uh, just a square piece just uh, added to my last just to show you how this works. So, And I've also uh, added just some different materials down here. So these are just images that I've taken. So the first one we're going to take a look at is just a geometric shape, just to show you how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this material uh, a lot smaller so we can take a look at uh, the way it's tiling or not tiling. Uh, so you can see here, if you look very closely, we have all of these images kind of jutting up next to each other and they don't look particularly good. So what we've now got is this new icon here called Tile the Texture. So I'm just going to select on this. Okay, so once I do this, I get this dialog here, and this allows me to uh, position uh, the material in order to make it tileable. So what I'm first going to do is I'm just going to pull this along, just so we can see how this works. Uh, I'm just going to pull it down to here, and then pull this across to here. Okay, so if you now look at the... Um, the image on the right here, you can see this is tiling a lot better than it was. So if I now do the same to the uh, top and the bottom, once again you can now see the top and bottom is tiling, it's just slightly out, so I'm just going to lift this just a little bit higher. And when I'm happy with this, I can accept it. Again, I'm just going to make this lot smaller, just so you can see it. And you can see now it's tiling absolutely perfectly. Okay, so if I go to a different material, one that might be um, more usable, this one maybe here. And again, I'm just going to go and make it a lot smaller, just so you can see the kind of the holes uh, where it's being tiled. So you can see we've got the length here and here. Okay, so again, I'm going to go to create tileable image. So another thing that we have is the blend radius. So this works a lot better with these kinds of materials. So we can blend uh, the different radiuses along the horizontal and the vertical. So I'm just going to increase the radius. And you can see it working here. So if I'm happy with it, I can just preview it on here so I can go accept. Once again, I'm just going to make this a lot smaller. And now you can see that it's blended and you can't see those sharp edges at all anymore.